Once upon a time. Pepper and George are looking at storybooks. Look, George. This is an exciting adventure. <laughs> there are fairies and three bears who can't stop eating porridge. <laughs> and a naughty wolf who's looking for an old lady to eat. Oh. Don't worry, George. It's always a happy ending. <laughs> I wish we lived in a fairy story. <laughs> Pepper, George, it's time to go. Are we going on an adventure? Yes, we're going to Granny and Grandpa Pig's house for lunch. That's not an adventure. There'll be potatoes. Can we bring our picture books to read in the car? We're not going in the car, Pepper. We're walking there instead. Walking? All the way to Granny and Grandpa's house? Yes, there's a shortcut through the park. Will there be dragging some fairies in the park? Not that I know of. But it will be a nice walk. <sighs> but there won't be any magic. Maybe, if we look hard enough, we might see some. Pepper and George have arrived at the park. Hmm, it doesn't feel like a magic place. Oh, I don't know. It feels a bit magic to me. Yes, this is like the path in Little Red Riding Hood. I wouldn't be surprised if we bumped into the big bad wolf. <laughs> Hello there. It is Mr Wolf. Hello, Mr Wolf. How are you? Very well, thank you. Just a little bit hungry. I'm trying to decide where to go for lunch. I'm going to my granny's house for lunch. Are you really? Yes. Is it far? Not far. This is the shortcut. We'll be there soon. Very good. Oh, well, catch you later. Goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> that was just like Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> Meeting Mr Wolf in the middle of the woods when I'm going to Granny's house. <laughs> <laughs> Which way now, Daddy Pig? Uh, I'm not sure. There's a little house over there. Let's ask them the way. Hello? Is there anybody home? I wonder who lives here in the middle of the woods. There are three chairs. And three bowls of porridge. Hello, Peppa. Here are Belinda Bear and Mummy and Daddy Bear. Hello, Hello there. there. Hello, Mr and Mrs Bear. Sorry to trouble you. The door was open, so we came inside. It's quite all right. It's lovely to see you. Are you going to stay for lunch, Peppa? It's porridge. <laughs> it's not too hot or too cold, but just right. <laughs> We're actually on our way to have lunch at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Could you point us in the right direction, please? <laughs> that path there will take you to Granny Pig's house. Thank, Thank you. you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Wow. That was just like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Yes, with a little house and three chairs. And three bowls of porridge. <laughs> <laughs> we are in a fairy tale. Pepper has arrived at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Granny Pig, we're here. Hello. Oh. Here is Mr Wolf. Mr Wolf, why are you here? I'm just round for something to eat. Your granny has made a lovely lunch. Mm -mm. Yes, I've made a lovely lunch and it's ready now. Come inside. Hello, Peppa. Hello. Wendy Wolf has come for lunch too. Lunch is served. Hooray! Potatoes! Potatoes! Ho, ho! You can never have too many potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy, I've had an adventure in the fairy tale woods. Ooh, what's the fairy tale woods? It's where you live inside a fairy story. <laughs> Peppa loves fairy stories. Police station. Pepper and her family are driving home. That was a great day out. Now all I want to do is get home, put my feet up and have a lovely cup of... <coughs> dinosaur. <sighs> George has lost Mr Dinosaur again. Oh dear, 
George could have lost Mr Dinosaur anywhere. We've been to so many places today. We went to the shops, to the playground, to the park. <laughs> George cannot remember where he left Mr Dinosaur. Oh well, Mr Dinosaur is lost forever then. <laughs> Don't worry, George. Somebody will have found Mr Dinosaur. Yes. And when people find lost things, they take them to the police station. So that's where Mr Dinosaur will be. This is the police station. Here are Police Officer Squirrel and Police Officer Panda. They are doing important police work. Very good donuts, these. Yes, donuts really are the best. Mm. The police like donuts. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. That is how the police say hello. And how may we help you today? Dinosaur. George has lost Mr Dinosaur. Don't worry, George. I'm sure you'll find your dinosaur. All you've got to do is keep your ears and eyes open. Uh, actually, we were hoping some kind person might have found George's toy dinosaur and brought it here. I see. We'll need to question George. It's just routine. Please describe your dinosaur in your own words. Take your time. Use as many words as you like. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. Excellent description. Hmm. We do have some lost dinosaurs in the back. Follow me. Wow! What a lot of stuff! Yes, it's amazing the things people lose. Umbrellas. Handbags. Pirate treasure. Wow! wow. Yes, pirates are always forgetting where they buried their treasure. People dig the treasure up, and when they can't find the pirate who legally owns it... They bring the treasure here. Funny thing is, not one single pirate has ever walked into our police station to claim their treasure. This cement mixer was found in a train. The passenger must have forgotten it. Ooh. And this banana was found in a shoe shop. How in the world it got there, we'll never know. <laughs> I'm sorry, young lad. What were we looking for again? Dinosaur. Oh, yes. Here we are. A box full of plastic dinosaurs. Is this your Stegosaurus? No. How about this Triceratops? No. This Brontosaurus? No. Hmm. I'm afraid that's all the toy dinosaurs we've got. Oh. Don't worry, George. I'm sure you'll find your dinosaur. All you've got to do is keep your ears and eyes open. <laughs> oh. Who put that lamppost there? Yes, it's not a safe place to put a lamppost. Dangerous lamppost on public highway. Aha! Uh -huh. So this is your car, is it? Uh, yes. The very same car you used for your day out when the dinosaur was lost? Yes. Why? Bear with us, please, madam. Did you look for George's dinosaur in the car? Well, uh, no. We assume... Please step away from the car, madam. Nothing in here. Completely clean. Mind if we open the boot, madam? Uh, go ahead. Hello, hello, hello. Look what we found here. <laughs> oh, yes. Why didn't we think of looking in the boot? Thank you so much. Just doing our job, madam. <laughs> George loves Mr Dinosaur and Mr Dinosaur. Doctors! It is playtime for Pepper and her friends. <laughs> What's that noise? It's coming from the tree. It's Tiddles the tortoise. Naughty Tiddles, come down at once. I can shake the tree to get Tiddles down. Is that a good idea, Pedro? Don't worry, I am Super Pedro. Ow! Oh dear, what has happened? Tiddles fell on Pedro's nose. My nose hurts. Poor Pedro, I will call for the doctor. Dr. Brown Bear speaking. A bumped nose, you say? I'll be right there. <laughs> A 
Hello. Where is the patient? Here. My nose hurts. I see. Say ah. Uh... Ah. Uh... You need a plaster. There. That will make it better. Hooray! My glasses don't work. Pedro's glasses are all muddy. Oh, Dr. Brown Bear, can you fix Pedro's glasses? No, I can't. You'll need an optician for that. An optician is a doctor who knows about glasses. My daddy's an optician. Hello, Dr. Pony speaking. <gasps> a pair of glasses not working, you say? I'm on my way. Hello, Daddy. Hello, son. What seems to be the problem? My glasses aren't working. Can you read this chart? No, my glasses aren't working. Why, these glasses just need a good clean. <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> yes. Thank you, Daddy. Dr Pony has fixed Pedro's glasses. Hooray! Thank you, doctors. Everything is back to normal. But Tiddles needs helping too. Hmm, its legs are wiggling in the air. It seems to be upside down. Can you doctors help a tortoise in trouble? No, I'm afraid we can't treat animals. Oh. You need a vet. A vet is a doctor for animals. Hello, Dr. Hamster speaking. Upside down tartice, you say? I'll be right there. Hello, Doctor. Hello, Doctor. Hello, Doctor. Hello, Doctor. Now, where's the patient? Here. He fell out of the tree. Tiddles, you little pickle. What have I said about climbing trees? Will he be OK? Yes. Let's just flip you over. There. Good as new. Hooray! That was an interesting technique you used there. Standard procedure, really. It is Dr Elephant, the dentist. Hello, everyone. I heard there was an emergency. Are everyone's teeth OK? Yes, yes thank, thank you. you. A dentist is a doctor who looks after teeth. I'll be on my way then. <laughs> oh dear, Dr Elephant's car won't start. Do any of you doctors know how to fix a car? Um, no. no. I know who to call. Hello, Grandad Dog's breakdown service. Trouble with a car? I'll be right there. Hello! Hello! Try the engine. Hmm. Try it again. There. Good as new. Hooray! <laughs> Grandad Dog is a car doctor. <laughs> there are doctors for every... Super Potato. Today, Mr. Potato has come to Peppa's playgroup. Children, Mr. Potato is here to talk to you today about eating fruit and vegetables. Oh! I am going to show you a movie called Super Potato. Yay! Super Potato! Wow! Oh, my hat is blown off. Help me, Super Potato! By the power of vegetables, I am here! Aha! Thank you, Super Potato! Remember, kids, always eat your five a day! Fruit and vegetables keep us alive! Always remember to eat your five! And now, we have a very special guest! Can you guess who it is? It's not my daddy, is it? No. It's not my daddy, is it? No, it is nobody's daddy. Is it my mummy, then? No, it is no relation of anyone here. The special guest coming to see you today is... Super Potato is coming. Hooray! But before he does, we must call him... <clears throat> Super Potato! Super Potato! Very good. I'll just go and see if he is outside. Keep shouting. 
Super Potato! Super Potato! By the power of vegetables, I am here! Hooray! Wonderful! Now, who has a question they would like to ask Super Potato? Ask me anything you like about fruit and vegetables. Anything! What is the tallest building you've ever jumped? What's that? Why do I like carrots so much? I'll tell you why. Because they are so tasty. Can you run faster than a train? Which vegetable makes you run fast? That's a good question. I would have to say a Brussels sprout. Have you ever eaten a potato? Uh, fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. Doctors now recommend you eat seven a day. Uh, always remember to eat your seven. Right. Let's all give Super Potato a nice big clap for coming to see us today. Thank you. Thank you. And remember, kids, eat fruit and vegetables. Super Potato has left the building. Oh, dear. Did I miss him? Yes. He was brilliant. Well, it was lovely to see you all, but I'd better be going too. Bye. Come on, children. Let's wave Mr. Potato goodbye. <laughs> Oh, dear. Mr. Potato's car won't start. Ah! I cannot get out! Mr. Potato is stuck. Help! Let me out! What shall we do? Help! Call help. for Super Potato! Let me out! Super, Super Potato! Potato. Super I think he might be Super too Potato. busy to come. No, really? Really, Super I do Potato. not think that will work this time. No, Madam Gazelle. You just need to shout out with us. OK. Help us, Super, Super Potato! There, it didn't work. Now I think we What's need to... What's that in the sky? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a potato. By the power of vegetables, I am here. Hooray! Super Potato has come to the rescue. Using my super vegetable vision, I can see that my friend here is in trouble. Yes, you have to get him out. I will use my fruity strength to lift this roof off. <laughs> Super Potato has rescued Mr. Potato. Hooray! And remember, kids, when trouble calls... Eat your fruit and vegetables! Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. Seven. Always remember to eat 